Jack Harrington. He kept a clean sheet. That's a brilliant distribution from Brady. Chance here for Gurji. His touch just got away from him slightly, but he still forces the save from Paul Martin. Brilliant distribution for the town keeper, Brady, who, as I said, he was also suspended last week after his little dust up with Ender Curran here against Byrne and Byrne. Cool and composed as he finds Dervin. That's nice play from Longford at the back and a great ball over the top towards Faye. Paul Martin read it well. Can Longford get a shot on goal here? Dervin's going to have one. And Martin had to scramble across his line. Good alert play from Long Not for centre backs have just peeled wide here to offer themselves for the short ball out, and it is Seregni that gets it off Jack Brady. Brady switches play now. And again, he's picked out Kyle O'Connor brilliantly. And what a touch that is from the young man. Plenty of players forward here. They've got five players in the penalty area. They've got two or three on the edge as well. Longford have sent everyone back. It looks to be a mixture of zonal and man marking from the town here. As Griffin sends it in. It's a good ball as well. And up high was Thomas Alua. Too much power and not enough precision. Crowded the six-yard box here. Lots of traffic in front of Jack Brady. Bagley whips it right into a sweet spot. Well defended by Longford, but they'll have to... Do a bit more work to get rid of this as I do who takes a shot on goal and the deflection could have gone anywhere but thankfully from a Longford Town point of view. Ibrahim keep this in play, he can. Ibrahim, decent cross from him, Whitmarsh almost got his head on it. Verdon takes it down on the edge of the D. Verdon, little chick ball, oh it was a great, I'm not sure was he going for the shot or was he going for the cross but it almost found its way into. Longford are going to try and counter. A Durvin to Whitmarsh, he's got Joshua Gurgi outside, here is Gurgi. Nobody in the area for Longford Town though, so Gurgi has to hold on to it. Nice dribbling from Gurgi. Gurgi with the cross oh, and That's excellent defending of the back post from Nilo Keith because Jamal Ibrahim was there for the ball inside to Phillips. Phillips, I know he's a centre back, but he seems very keen to play square all the time. Doesn't really want to go forward. Ball over the top for Griffin. Griffin beaten to it by Serenyuk. Second ball. Oh, and that's a strike on goal. Flashes across the six yard box. Nobody for a player that's come into the squad so recently. Whitmarsh, he's already forming a good partnership with some players out there. Here's a ball for Thomas Alua to give chase to Jack Brady's in no man's land. Can Alua manufacture a shot on goal here? He's held up. The crossing towards Idu. It's still alive at the back post. Possessed. That's a brilliant tackle over on the far side from McMenemy. McMenemy finds Griffin in a pocket of space. And that's an important foul that had to be made. I'm not sure whether it's Byrne or Serenyuk that made the, uh, the the tackle that's resulted in that free kick, but Waterford had three men over on them here. Yeah, they've already upset Galway at home this season. Could they now go over and turn up, uh, turn over the other big side as they're Ooh, called? Yeah, the, the boot was early. left there. Yeah, early decision here for Declan Tolan to make. It's a yellow card over the far side for uh, Roland Idowu. First booking of the game. I do ball inside, that's opened up some space from Menemy. Gets the ball out to the pacey Parsons. Appeals for handball, not given. Never. Parsons carries it in on his left foot. It's a shot across goal, and that was good defender from Kyle O'Connor. He kept a cool head there. He could have eased it, but he's only able to head it into the middle for Nilo O'Keefe to latch onto it. O'Keefe goes back here to Subawale. Subawale with a good ball into the path of Thomas Alua. Decent touch from Alua, but the flag goes up, and I'm not sure about that one, Gary. Yeah, I think so. Actually, if you look back at it, which uh, we, we Jack Brady had stopped to be fair but and Alua now he is definitely onside this time Thomas Alua racing in on goal Thomas Alua save from Brady it falls the way Griffin on the rebound Griffin hits the crossbar and the ball out to safety by Parsons but showed too much of it to Adam Verdon that and was late there by yeah Bagley. yeah, yeah. He actually did end pa up tipping Parsons up. has gone down there with absolutely no contact. Yeah, <laughs> brutal. Um, Adam Verdon <laughs> has, has been caught. It was an honest player from the Waterford player. Um, on a try. He used to have a little nibble there at Jamal Ibrahim, but Ibrahim holds on to possession. But Sabawale eventually wins it back for the Blues. Good ball down the line. They've got bodies in here. Can they find one? Brady's got a glove oh. on it. And that was a crucial fingertip touch there from Jack Brady to turn that ball out for a throw-in. Towards it, Mash. Good defending from Phillips. Using his strength and size there just to squeeze Whitmarsh out of it. And Longford Town now have left a free man here. This is Con Clark. The fresh legs for Waterford. Con Clark ball inside to Griffin. And Griffin skews his shot high and wide. Again, plenty of length on the goal kick. That's a good command and header from Subawale. Now Byrne and Brady just need to make sure they're on the same page here. And indeed they are. Brady's cleared that straight down the centre of the park. Only for a brilliant tackle from Durvin. Longford could have been in trouble. And he let Jack Brady know that as well. Just not too much else has beaten him this evening. But yeah. he ran out of yardage there. And Burke stolen a couple of yards off the restart. It's a clever <laughs> throw in down the line though to Con Clark. Who 
Again, shows some nice control, and there's a header from Alua! Oh, well wide in the end there. <laughs> Doesn't appear to be anyone warming up for Waterford, so perhaps they have, but they've got a corner here late on. A chance to win the game. <clears throat> Ball sent towards the back post, and a Blues player has got their head on it, and I have no idea how that has stayed out, but it's gone out for another corner. 